take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Hey, how's everybody doing? I'm Rochelle Emerson. Welcome to the channel. Or welcome back. Thank you to all the subs that I have. I appreciate it. I need more. <laughs> I'm trying, people. I hope everybody's doing good today. Um, wow. It just keeps going. We got more residents coming out, more committees, more of them talking about what's going on in Springfield, Ohio. Man. Now, I got some clips of... Uh, the residents that we're gonna uh i'm gonna play here in a moment uh some different ones from the ones i did the other day i've got some clips from trump him from the debate and him on uh some campaign i mean talking about this i mean i've got mark divine divine i guess that's how you say his name he's the governor of ohio and the stuff he's going to say, it's just unbelievable. I mean, Harris and Biden, Harris can't run from this. This is just insane. And if she gets elected, I, it, it, it's probably rigged. That's all I got to say, because dad blame. I mean, it just keeps going and going and going. We've got uh, Kate. Carmack, she's a house engineer. She's on the house engineer committee. She's saying that the Harrison administration is, they're allowing these illegals to become police officers. Oh, yeah. Police officers. What's going on here? What the hell? What the hell? I mean, we've got this uh, governor of um, Springfield saying they need help from the federal government. Well, damn, why didn't he just get up and say the federal government imported these people into this city? No, he just said, we need some help. And then he's going to talk about how he's going to um, get, get some funding to help the illegals get their driver's license, get an education, get jobs, get their social security cards. This money's going to pour in to help them, not to help their homeless, their veterans, their people in the community, say they're single mothers with children, whatever the case may be, American citizens. No, no, this money's going to help the illegals. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? And you know what else is crazy is that I have discovered not only did Texas, well, we knew, I knew this though, but Texas <clears throat> can't handle it. So remember, they were shipping, packing them in buses, the illegals, and, and, and sending them to different places in the country. And then, you know, when they sent them to Martha's Vineyard, <laughs> was it Martha's Vineyard? Forgive me if I'm wrong, but whatever. There was a bunch of eagle eagles sent there, and you know what they did? They brought in the National Guard, packed them up, and shipped them to a military base to be processed. Oh, no, they're not going to do that in Springfield, Ohio. Oh, no, they're not going to do that in New York. They're going to dump them in your neighborhoods and leave them there, but God forbid that they're in your backyard, in their backyard, rather. They're hypocrites. They're the big, they don't want them in their backyard. You think Pelosi wants them in her vineyard where her and her husband own all this property? Why ain't she building shelters for them there? She's wealthy. She can do it. Why ain't she doing that? Oh, no. No, no, ladies and gentlemen. It's got to be in your backyard. Not theirs. Let that sink in. Just let that sink in. So, not only that, let me get to that point. Is that they, the federal government, imported them into Springfield legally. So, 
Is Trump going to be able to remove them? Lord willing, he gets elected. Or is he just going to say, no, They that Biden and Harris had no legal right to let them automatically be legal? Bring them in, ship them over there, and now the chaos ensues in that city, but they're legal. So how's he going to do that? Because, you know, we're going to hear some clips by uh, Trump saying what he's going to do day one. So we got a lot to get into, and let's get started. All right, first up, we have a 911 call from a resident that says he sees people taking ducks, Haitians. So this is the first evidence I have found. Hearing evidence, still haven't seen any visual evidence, guys. I've been, I've been digging. It's, it's, it's any, so let's hear this 911 call. I see a group of Haitian people. There was about four of them. They all had geese in their hand. How, how many geese did they have? Uh, they each had one. Single homeless Haitian in this town. They each had one. <laughs> now, that's the only 911 call that I have found that's showing some of, of, of an eyewitness saying he's seeing this. Again, I, I don't know why. He sounded like an older gentleman. I don't know why we we don't have some more footage. I know somebody was telling me that there was a footage of a cop and seeing somebody doing something with the animal in a driveway or something. But as far as uh, some some really, you know, that that's the closest thing I found. So now, which is something. Which it's given it some legitimacy. That 911 call was in there, but we all know what happened in the debate that they, they said no. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that, definitely. Now, this is a montage of um, some, let me back this up a hair. Uh, they each had one. That's insane. <laughs> oh my God. This is a montage of some residents. Um, they're different from the ones I had in the other video. Um, and let's hear what they got to say. One single homeless Haitian in this town because they all got vouchers. But I can show you a whole bunch of people that have been displaced because I'm that guy. Rob, you know, for 25 years, I've worked with the homeless in this community. Oh, OK, so. The American residents of that city are getting displaced in place of the illegals that Harris and Biden administration imported into their city. This is an outrage, a definite outrage. And look, guys, this could happen to any one of us in this country. Lord forbid this woman gets elected. You're going to see more of this. It's not going to stop. She's not going to close that border. She's going to say stuff just to get elected. On December 1st, I received a phone call that changed my life forever. <laughs> she was collecting her trash can from her driveway when a car struck and killed her instantly. A Haitian immigrant was allegedly driving recklessly when he struck and killed her. I am paralyzed with anxiety when I'm getting my children out of the car in any parking lot, walking on any sidewalk, and driving on any road in this town. Could you imagine? Her mother is killed taking out the garbage, checking the mail? From an illegal who doesn't have a driver's license? It's unbelievable. It makes me angry. Again, people, this could happen in any one of our cities. I feel for these people. She was not a Republican or Democratic issue. This is an American issue. This is an Ohio issue. And this is a Springfield issue. Schools are overcrowded. Our education system has went in the trash. Housing is another issue. The overcrowding in housing. My son had to give me his house and move to another house because I can't find housing. Is Unbelievable. 
No, it's an American issue. When is enough going to be enough? Again, I'm going to keep reiterating, this could happen in any city. And like Trump said, he goes, some of these cities ain't, aren't saying anything. Why would they be embarrassed? Say something, you governors out there. Look, Biden and Harris just dumped a bunch load of crap on us. Baltimore was New York. All of them have been speaking out more of more of the uh, more of the people than than their uh, government officials. They need to run those mayors and that governor out of town with pitchforks and tar and feather them. Seriously. A cutoff point that I mean for. Listen to what this guy says. Let me back it up. Let me back it up a hair. Let me back it up a hair. We'll hear a little bit. Because I can't find housing. Is there a cutoff point that, I mean, for the population here? Or, I mean, I feel like there should be a no vacancy sign up right now. A cutoff. No vacancy for illegals. I know that's what he's what he's saying. It's not like you just can't, there's not a cutoff because cities can grow, but this is not the way they want to grow. They'd rather grow more organically, people getting married, a man and a woman, having children, growing the city, bringing businesses back in their town. <laughs> a cutoff. It's it's unbelievable. 15 to 20,000 Influx, and they're, they're, I'm getting stats, it's probably as high as 30,000 since 2022. That these people have been dealing with this since the Biden and Harris administration took office. They started busting them in. Guys, they were cutting holes in the wall to let them in. What the hell? Why? Why would you do this? It's insane. There, there's something very nefarious about all of this. And people are still coming in. What they have done to our country by allowing these millions and... Now, this is the montage I was talking about uh, that we're going to have here of uh, Trump bringing it up during the debate. Now, I know there's a bunch, you know, the left is all like, yeah, she baited and goaded him and he fell for it every time and blah, 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 you know, whatever. I thought he did a good job. I didn't find that he was angry. And you know what? He should be angry. You should be angry. I'm angry about this, about everything that's happening. The inflation, the prices, the influx of illegals flooding into this country. I want somebody to be up there going, hey, they did this to us. They did this to us. We need to stop it. If you, and, and it's, if you want more of this, then, then elect her. If that's what you want, Lord help us. So this is a montage we're going to get into, which is relating to all of this in Springfield, Ohio, and across this great land of ours. Millions of people to come into our country and look at what's happening to the towns all over the United States. And a lot of towns don't want to talk. It's not going to be Aurora or Springfield. A lot of towns don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed by it. In Springfield... They're eating the dogs. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to back it up just a hair because I want you to be prepared for something. All right. I want you to watch the expression on Harris's face. It's absolutely despicable. This isn't a joke. <clears throat> Excuse me. This isn't a joke to these people in Ohio. This isn't a joke for people in California. This isn't a joke for people that are in New York. Or God forbid those poor people in Philadelphia. I know y'all have seen all the videos of the homeless and the people are zombies on the side of the road and half of them look like they're dead. It's, it's heartbreaking. These are human beings. And these pathetic people that are in office right now could give a damn. Because if they did give a damn, they wouldn't be cutting holes in the wall. They wouldn't be letting them flood in. Texas wouldn't be having to ship them all over the country. Oh, God forbid, you, you put them in Martha's Vineyard or you dump them on the Washington Step and they, they send in the National Guard to get them out of their backyard, but they're not going to get them out of your backyard? 
Damn. Now watch her face. Watch her face. You tell. She thinks it's a joke. She don't give a shit about you. They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. She just started by saying she's going to... She thought it was funny that he said that. Not once, like, could take this seriously. That these people from these other third world countries, they... They don't live like us. These people aren't even immunized, guys. There is a, so much of a host of things that could go wrong letting people in the country that you don't know who they are. Number one, you don't know who they are. Are they terrorists? We don't know. Are they carrying diseases? We don't know. Are they common criminals? We don't know. Are they robbers? We don't know. The list can go on and on and on that we don't know. That's why it does take a long time for somebody to come into the country. It, there needs to be a process. Yeah. Okay. Somebody could type in the chat. Yeah. They, they, there's there's law-abiding citizens who, who've come here legally or illegally and they just want a better life. Sure. Sure. I'm sure. There's some wonderful, beautiful, godly people who snuck in here because they want a better life. But guess what? We cannot we cannot leave the floodgates open. We're not safe when we do that because guess who's mixed in with them? All kinds of crazy stuff. Criminals, murderers, drug people, cartels bringing the drugs over. When did we start seeing the influx of the drugs? During the Biden and Harris administration. More and more, it, it just went, it skyrocketed. I'm not saying that it, it didn't exist at all because they always find a way. People find a way to do criminal things because they ain't got nothing else better to damn do than to screw us over. Whether they're telemarketers, which is annoying, trying to prey upon the old people, somebody, they, criminals find a way. Criminals find a way. To do this, she's going to do that. She's going to do all these wonderful things. Why hasn't she done it? She's been there for three and a half years. They've had three and a half. Okay, look, look. Let me back up a hair. Let me back up a hair. Let me back up a hair. Okay, we're going to come to the end of that. Now, the the next clip after this one, after her smirking over him making the comment that these people are eating the pets and stuff. The next one is his closing argument closing statement at the debate which has gone viral on tiktok and it was just dead on it just was like the one two one two bam muhammad ali shuffle boom which summed it all up and i thought he did a beautiful job he just started by saying she's going to do this she's going to do that she's going to do all these wonderful things why hasn't she done it she's been there for three and a half years They've had three and a half years to fix the border. They've had three and a half years to create jobs and all the things we talked about. Why hasn't she done it? She should leave right now, go down to that beautiful White House, go to the Capitol, get everyone together and do the things you want to do, but you haven't done it and you won't do it because you believe in things that the American people don't believe in. You believe in things like... We're not going to frack. We're not going to take fossil fuel. We're not going to do things that are going to make this country strong, whether you like it or not. Germany tried that, and within one year, they were back to building normal energy plants. We're not ready for it. We can't sacrifice our country for the sake of bad vision. But I just ask one simple question. Why didn't she do it? We're a failing nation. We're a nation that's in serious decline. We're being laughed at all over the world. All over the world, they're laughing. I know the leaders very well. They're coming to see me. They call me. We're laughed at all over the world. They don't understand what happened to us as a nation. We're not a leader. We don't have any idea what's going on. We have wars going on in the Middle East. We have wars going on with Russia and Ukraine. We're going to end up in a third world war, and it'll be a war like no other because of nuclear weapons, the power of weaponry. I rebuilt our entire military. She gave a lot of it away to the Taliban. She gave it to Afghanistan. 
what these people have done to our country, and maybe toughest of all is allowing millions of people to come into our country, many of them are criminals, and they're destroying our country, the worst president, the worst vice president in the history of our country. President Trump. Well, that's some pretty big shoes to fill. Remember Jimmy Carter? Now, I was a child during the time, but the gas lines, he was, he was at the time, was one of the worst presidents we ever had. He was just weak all the way around until Reagan came in and boom, they let them hosses just go. Reagan wasn't playing around, right? They're not playing around. That's the, that's what we need, people. Somebody who ain't, who's not going to play around, that other countries are going to fear our leader. Fear the American people. That we're not going to put up with it. We will rally together. I think that's the mistake Japan made. They thought, huh, the Americans ain't going to rally. So they go attack Pearl Harbor. And they, you know what? They were wrong. Because, boom, we got it together. And we went and kicked butt. But I think that was the failure on their part. But do we want to wait for a national tragedy such as that to rally the country together to stop regimes like Comrade Harris and Biden? Guys, definitely we need to rally together now and stop this. If you people out there, y'all, y'all think this is okay? You like spending a fortune on your rent, your, your energy bills for your home, your food bill, your gas bill for your car, your car insurance? All of these have gone up double digits under them because they just think the way to go is to tax, 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 tax. Let let these people in. Let these people in. I know why they're letting them in. They they think these people are gonna they're gonna vote for them, and keep them in power. Unbelievable. This is another clip of um, and and of uh, the residents and the red of the immigrants and the surge. And I just thought he did. A phenomenal job of of bringing this up and she had no defense if y'all watch this she she didn't say yeah we I, I, biden biden wanted that i i don't want that no she hasn't said that no no she hasn't and it's too late it's too little too late she should have said that from day one that she was running like and she should have went and shut the border immediately got on and said hey I'm petitioning Biden to close this border right now. Let's get the military down there. Let's get the the construction crew down there. Fix the stupid holes that Biden had them cut. Start building that wall. Springfield, Ohio. You look at Aurora in Colorado. They are taking over the towns. They're taking over buildings. They're going in. Look at her smirk when he's saying they're taking over the town. They're taking over the buildings. And we all know what was happening in uh, Colorado at those apartment complex. Gangs were coming in there harassing the management, getting the rent money from the residents. They're all scared to death. And, and, And she's sitting there smirking about this. And all those videos have gone viral about the Chicago, I mean, I'm sorry, Colorado. All of that crap in Colorado. And we, look, I ain't even touched upon all the woke crap. It's just piles upon piles of of crap. Violently, these are the people that she and Biden led into our country, and they're destroying our country. They're dangerous. They're at the highest level of criminality, and we have to get them out. We have to get them out fast. That's smart, man. That's just killing me. Guys, we all see it with our own eyes, what has been happening for the last few years. And she just smirks like... He... 
Trump is just lying. He he's just going to just tell a bunch of lies about me. I, I don't care what he says about Biden, but it just I, I'm going to distance myself from Biden. But this is he's just lying about it. Like you see a crime. Like, no, there's nothing to see here, people. You didn't see what you think you saw. I mean, it's look at her face. That should say everything. There's a place called Springfield, Ohio that you've been... And then we're just continuing with another clip of him just hammering it home. I mean, it's just, he's been hammering it. She has been silent. Nothing. Zero. Nada. About the problem. Or how to help those people. Or to get those illegals out of there. Or get the National Guard and take them to a military base and then ship them back to the country they came from. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. She just smirks and doesn't say nothing. Reading about 20,000 illegal Haitian immigrants have descended upon the town of 58,000 people. Destroying their entire way of life. This was a beautiful community, and now it's uh, horrible what's happened. Hey, yeah, it's, it's going to turn into a third world country if they don't do something about it. Like they need more resources. Did These people can't even speak English. A little boy was killed because an illegal ran off, and, and the bus swerved to miss him, and a boy died. Seven were injured. This woman at the beginning, her mother was killed. And apparently there's like several a day or a week that's had a car accidents in just Springfield. Just Springfield. God knows what's happening everywhere else. Like he said, maybe maybe they're just embarrassed. They're not going to say anything. I don't know. One of my administration, I will stop this invasion. I will seal the border. I will end the Harris migrant flight. And I will begin the largest deportation operation in the history of our country. Okay, with him saying that, when I brought up at the beginning, that this was a special, a special task force by the Biden and Harris administration to import these Haitians into Springfield, Ohio, legally. Yes, I said it legally. So, the big question is, can he say when he takes off as God willing, pray, he takes off as he's like, uh uh-uh, all that stupid shit that they said about bringing them in legally because they brought them in illegally, he needs to get them out. And how he's going to do that, I I don't know. How is he going to do that? Now, would he need to vet each and every one of them? What an undertaking. What are they going to do? Is Springfield stuck with these 30, 20 to 30,000 Haitians? What's he going to do? How's he going to get them out? They're going to say, well, Harris said we we were here legally. You're going to hear from uh, the governor, Mike Devine, saying we need help from the federal government with the shit they dumped on us. Now, he's not going to say it like that, but I did. Okay. (laughs) They need more money. Money always solves that problem, don't it? Nope. Nope, it don't. Look at this money they've thrown at the schools. Where is that money going? To woke programs? Because it certainly ain't going to education. Anything usually the government touches turns to crap. Turns to crap. Trump is the only president in my lifetime that said he was going to build a wall, and he actually used the money to start building the wall. And what did the the Democrats do? Oh, he promised us we wouldn't pay for it. He's going to make other countries pay for it. Well, with all the uh, crap that he put on China, when he told Mexico, we're going to stop giving you money if you don't stop the, the letting them cross, a lot of that stopped. And guess what? That probably saved us a ton of money. Oh, I know it did. 
But I don't care. I would spend my tax money. Spend it. Build the wall. And guess what? He was building that damn wall. But they want a bitch that, oh, he promised. See, he lied. He, he promised he wasn't going to use your money to build that wall. But guess what? They're using your money to take care of these legals all over this country. They're using your money. But yet our homeless, our homeless, our vets, single family homes, they're, they're suffering because of this. Those resources should be going to them. Dramatic surges. All right, here he is. Here he is. This little guy. This little guy. I swear. I wish these people would grow some balls. Right. At least be, so Santa, Santa's from uh the Santa's from Florida has some serious cojones. Come on, people. He's doing a great job. This guy, this is the governor of Ohio. Impact every citizen in the community. Every citizen. The moms who have to wait hours in a waiting room with a sick child. Everyone who drives on the streets. And it affects children who go to school in more cl crowded classrooms. This is, you know, a very unprecedented situation in Springfield. We wish we had some help from the federal government. In Why didn't he say something when it first started to happen? They all kept it quiet. They were moving these and shipping these people all over the country. Just right under the cover of night. Now, here where I live, our guy said, no, we're going to watch our airports. You're not going to land a plane in the middle of the night and dump a bunch of illegals in our city. This should have been happening everywhere. Everyone, all the governors, all the senators should have stood up and said, no. Throw them back over the border. With a catapult. <laughs> oh, my God. It'd be like, uh, what is that catapult in um, Mighty Python? <laughs> I think that was like the first biological warfare, right? They were throwing bodies over the... It was insane. Anyway, Mighty Python's pretty funny. But this clip right here. I said a moment ago. I know why they're bringing them in, because they want them to vote for them. They want to keep these people, these people want to be in office forever, and they accuse Trump of wanting to be a dictator and get elected and never leave office. <laughs> these people want to stay in office forever, whether it's a revolving door of the libtards getting in office, a revolving door, keeping them in there, keeping them in there. Because guess what? They're going to bring these people over. We're going to give you money. We're going to give you phones. We're going to give you housing. We're going to give you money to start a business. We're going to give you everything. Fuck the American people. But this right here, these guys, they're talking about making a bill. But you have to be an, an American citizen. Now, also, the Biden administration is wanting to fast-track these people to become an American citizen, which is stupid. It takes a long time to vet people. That's why it does take a few years to vet somebody. This is serious stuff here. You can't just let anybody in your country. We will not have a country. We won't recognize this country, and that's what they want to do. So this little montage here is them discussing it and wanting to pass this bill. And I'm all for this. Any member of Congress in either party to explain to the American people why we should not ensure that only U.S. citizens are voting in U.S. elections. If Americans are going to remain in control of their own government, for heaven's sakes, we should let only Americans vote in our elections. Thank you. Makes sense if to me. We do not show the American people that the elections are going to be fair and they're going to be satisfied with the outcome. You are going to have hell to pay in this country. 
Well, looky here. We all know for years, why do dead Democrats vote? Not only do dead people vote, apparently, but now we're going to fast track illegals to vote. And a lot of these libtard cities across the country want people to vote without a, a valid ID. And then they say, that the Republicans and conservatives are are racist because you want because we want you to have an ID to vote. It is absurd. Oh, that's just racist. Who is that racist against? It's every American citizen. It's not just an Asian group or a white group or a black group that they're going. No, no, only the black group has to ha- make sure they have uh they have an ID, but 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 the white group has to show ID. This is stupid. Everyone, everyone, whoever you are, show proof of residence, proof of ID, driver's license, whatever the case may be. Period. That's it. You need you need an ID to buy alcohol. You need an ID to buy cigarettes. You need an ID to freaking fly. Oh, no. You, we got to know who you are because you could be a terrorist getting on our plane. But no, you don't need an ID to get in the country or an ID to vote. Are you serious? Here's the last segment here. Um, I got this from uh, Harris Faulkner, and here we go. The former president, the nation's 45th president, also shared his thoughts in making them clear. He posted, if Republicans in the House and Senate don't get absolute assurances on election security, they should in no way, shape or form go forward with a continuing resolution on the budget. Congresswoman, your take. Well, listen, 82 percent of Americans agree that non-citizens should not be voting in U.S. elections. True. This is uh, Kate uh, Carmack. Uh, she is a House engineer. Um, she's on the House Engineer Committee, a representative of Florida. And they're going to be talking about the election and some other interesting things. So, mm-hmm, you're going to be going, damn. That's what I'm saying. You're going to be going, damn. It's a common sense measure. Common and sense. I cannot stress enough that it is really at the peril of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle that they don't adopt this. If I hear one more time, well, it's illegal that non citizens vote in elections. Well, guess what? It's also illegal to cross the border. And yet they seem. Not according to them. They cut holes in the border. They're shipping them all over the country. They imported Haitians to Springfield, Ohio. To have no problem with that. And they've allowed True. 10 and a half million people to come into this country Good illegally. Lord. So if they have no if they have no objection, then why not pass the bill? What are they scared of? And that's the message that needs to go out. If we are serious about election integrity, we have to pass the SAVE Act. But real quickly, well, why wouldn't they? I mean, you're talking with people on the Hill. You're talking with people on the left, on the Hill. What are they telling you? Are there reasons for not wanting to sign something that they say should already be happening? But if it's not, you got to sign a bill. Well, it's the, the, the same thing that we've heard when we ask for photo ID in elections to verify that someone is who they say they are. They say it's voter suppression. Now, we all know that's nonsense. And again, the majority of Americans can see through all the smoke and mirrors of all that, that messaging that comes from the left. So I, again, cannot stress that if people want to feel secure in the elections going into November, that we have to ensure that it's only American citizens voting. And that is not a Republican issue, a Democrat issue, an independent issue. That is an American issue. And again, I've heard from so many of them, well, it's already illegal. Well, again, I stress there are other things that well, are so illegal that are happening driving. under their watch. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I mean, are, and we have proof that it is happening. Right. At least there's a law against that. She goes on to say, which I don't know why I edited that out. That's, uh, uh, yeah, my uh, technical skills at its best here, people. But she goes on to say, um, the Harrison-Biden special operations. (laughs) I added that part, by the way. They're allowing these people to become police officers. I had said in another video, when Obama was uh, stomping, he talked about, we're going to call it the brown shirts. (laughs) Y'all remember the brown shirts from Nazi Germany? They were like a police force. Okay, well, 
Obama was insinuating that we need to evaluate, I'm paraphrasing by the way, evaluate and restructure our, the way we police civilians. Basically, in a nutshell, let me tell you what I think he was saying. He wants to have the government to control the whole entire United States with a government police force, a.k.a. brown shirts, that the government controls. Oh, because we've had so many problems. I think we weren't ready for that. Now, we all know throughout the several years, every now and then something would creep up that one dumbass police officer does something heinous. It happens. But they don't talk about a black guy, a black police officer killing a white, a white guy. It's only the narrative for the news, because they're in bed with the libtards. When a white officer kills a black guy, oh, man, it's national. It goes international. It's for a reason. If they figured, well, if we do this enough, if we keep saying this enough, then we can instill and plant that seed that there's something wrong with the police departments all across the country. When there's just little pockets here and there. I mean, we're all human beings. There's going to be a dumbass asshole who's going to do something stupid no matter what field they're in. That's just common sense. But to blanketly, let's just wipe it out because there's a problem. Because they're just all racist. Not all police officers are racist. Are there some police officers that are racist? Absolutely. But you, you can't put them all in one big kabooey bucket. Seriously. Anyway, that's what I have for you. And like and subscribe. I, guys... I need some subscribers. <laughs> I thank you so much. Y'all have a blessed weekend and have a wonderful day. And thank you so much.